Do you ever get the sinking feeling that everybody just wants to kill you? The YOLO to kill you? Ha! I killed you. Everything's coming up Fuji. Oh no. It happened again. Hello my friends and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz and today we're going to look at advanced noob tactics introducing the tank. Important things to know about the tank. You need a gun. It's very useful for success in the game. You point it at the enemy. Those are the red tanks if you remember the video yesterday. Pull the trigger, they die. Tracks and wheels are also important. They're very useful for moving. There is armor and other stuff, but... Meh. Not important, not at this stage. I mean, this is not Unicom training. So let's have a look at our first advanced noob tactic, camping. We'll start with simple camping because camping comes in various modes and methodologies. You could camp in the spawn. You could camp on a hill. Either way, you could camp here, have some fruit pastels maybe from Marks and Spencer's. You're cool, I like them. Or you could set a tent or even get a campfire going. Either way, the idea of this tactic is to do nothing. It's just to sit there in your big heavy tank, waiting for the enemy to come to you. Because that's what it's all about. Some may call this an ambush. Some may call it just lazy. Others call it camping, and it's a very advanced tactic to master. It also saves on your thumbs if you're on touch in moving and your fingers if you're cheating on PC from moving. Important skills. Once you've mastered the simple camping, then you can do the sneaky camping. This is where you hide at the back of the map so nobody can find you until the end of the game. It's like hide and seek. And can be very effective. Maybe you don't like to camp alone, then camp as a group. Why not? There's strength in numbers. most effective. What happens if you want to save energy but not be called a camper? Then you can do tactic number two, sitting in the open on top of a hill. This is a very effective tactic. You don't need camouflage. You don't need to back away. They can't see you. Highly, highly effective. Don't understand why many don't use this tactic. You can win games like this. Concealment. So overrated. So you've learned how to camp and sit on a hill. What about an advanced tactic? The merry-go-round. This is where you chase each other around a rock. Why? Well, because you can. I mean, it's good entertainment. I mean, it's not a tank game. The idea is not to shoot tanks. The idea is to just go around and round and round. A rock. Until one of them gets bored and decides to disappear. Now yesterday I spoke about the running away, also known as the flank. This is not how to run away. Clearly the gun is pointing the wrong way. Not effective flanking, certainly not effective running away. Oh well. Never mind. No noob tutorial would be good without the shooting the ground tactic. Very effective, especially at point blank range. Or when you've just got to kill a tank. Certainly master that skill. Now if you don't want to be lazy, you can always move the tank and use this tactic. It's called the sideways move. You come out sideways. It's a genius move. It takes the enemy completely by surprise. So much so, they fail to shoot at you. And for an added bonus tactic, we have this one. Yes, look at this. This is the block and die tactic. So those are some of the basics. Now we're gonna go on to the YOLO, a more advanced tactic. A YOLO is basically a Banzai charge. Here we go, a YOLO against a heavy. In a medium tank. With no armor. This is going to end in tears, me thinks. Not for me! Ha! With your YOLO. 
Once you get proficient at the YOLO, then you can take it to the next level. This is the professional YOLO. Yee! Sit on your head. I'm going to turn around and back to the garage you go. Booyaka! But if you want to take it to the next level, this is the ultimate professional YOLO. There is the enemy, but you don't care because you're on the YOLO of the professionalism. Tanks do not hurt you. You then do a ram. The YOLO is almost successful until they spoil it by shooting you. Once you understand the YOLO, you can then master the RAM. This is when you can't be bothered to shoot anymore. So, you shoot a target, but it's boring. So you YOLO with a RAM. It's very effective. Yes, it's very simple, young Padawans. Sometimes, after you've shot a tank, you feel guilty and you just want to be friends with the enemy. You say, hello, let's be friends. What? Hey, why'd you do that? When you get to Unicum, you can then do combos of Rams and YOLOs. This is an example of a YOLO Ram. You're trying to be friends. You YOLO. You Ram. You call in a friend to help Ram further. Come friend. Squishy, squishy combo. Once you've mastered those basics, then you go for the super, the Slav squat tactic. Not for the faint hearted. You jump, you sit on the tank. You invite a friend to join you. Together, you squash the tank. Not content with the Slav squat. You then say, Oi, come here. Where are you going, IS-8? Come back. I only want to be your friend. Really? Honestly, don't run away. What did I do? I'm just going to shake hands and... Oh, I destroyed you. Sorry. My bad. I saw some people yesterday watch my video and thought that sitting on Fujit's ass was a tactic. This is an advanced level of sitting on Fujit's ass. Everything seems fine. Oh, bouncy. Look at this. I'm just going to sit here. I have been practicing all day since the video yesterday. I am still going to be practicing. I am not going to move. This is going to get me an award. I am so sat on Fujit's ass. I am still here. This is a very good tactic he taught yesterday. He gets my most impressive seal of approval. And now, my friends, armed with the basic knowledge of yesterday's video, along with the advanced noob tactics of today's video, you are now ready to go out in a Stalin tank and bring your knowledge together. Remember the YOLO. Remember the sitting in the open. Remember the sideways move. Remember the camp. All of these will be brought together. There may be a sitting on a Fugit's ass. There may be block and die tactics. Either way, we are sitting in the open. It is working. You see this thing in the bottom left of the map? That's called a mini map. It's not important. Just there for decoration. It's like playing join the dots whilst you are sitting in the open. Oh, see, aim. Aim is important. I told you. Aim plus damage is a good thing. The Electo is doing a good job of sitting in the open. But the Excelsior did a better job of the YOLO. As you can see, I am firing at the enemy. I am using the gun for most success. 
Panzer IV D is now employing the tactic of sitting in the open. So is the Hetzer. This is all coming together. You can see the advanced tactics on display. There's the side move, and there's the aim, equaling damage for great success. Now, there is a camper. There was a camper. Now we're seeing the Panzer IV with the runaway. Yes. Trying to employ the tactic at the last moment there. Still employing the runaway with a half flank. Remember, shooting through stuff sometimes works. There it is. Trying to do the runaway, but we see a new target in the open. So we shoot it. And somebody shoots the runaway. Oh, but there's the stug on a YOLO. We need to chase him down. We will go out sideways. This is effective use of the new forward button. Doug comes out and goodbye. You too can play games like that once you master advanced noob tactics. I've been Fujit, that has been my advanced noob tactics guide to help you in your quest for better blitzing. By all means, comment, like, share, even subscribe. Why not? doesn't hurt you. If you've got any decent replays guys, send them to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com or send them to my Discord server. Depends how lazy you are. Until the next time, I will say my usual stuff. Stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because that is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.